incongruent goals. Like wanting your cake and eating it too, as the old saying goes. Well, you know, that's impossible. You could have two goals. I want my beautiful cake. I want to be able to look at it, but I also want to eat it. Well, one's going to win. The other's going to lose. You know, I absolutely hate, I hate being the poster child for what not to do. In this case, this last weekend, I did it again. You know, I control my diabetes by being an extremely, extremely low-carb eater. I've got my diabetes under control, and I have for 15 years. But every so often, I let emotions creep in. I had an emotional day or two over the weekend, and I decided that I needed a treat. I didn't want a sugary treat, but I wanted that experience. So I decided to try keto ice cream. I tried two different brands. The first brand was from Fred Myers, called Simple Truth. It was this blueberry chunk, which just sounded wonderful most tasteless thing I've ever had in my life. So it quickly got disposed of. But there was an orange cream in this other brand. I think it was called Remo or Reno, something like that. It helped with the uh, craving, but you know what it did? These fake foods are so insidious. This is made with erythritol. And two things happened. The very first thing that happened was that erythritol leaves a nasty taste in my mouth. Here I am the next morning, 20 hours later, because I had it yesterday afternoon, and I still have that nasty aftertaste in my mouth. Not only that, it blew my blood sugar up, not into dangerous territory, but way over where I want to be. The body recognizes fake sugar as sugar and, and responds accordingly. I'll tell you the other thing that would happen if I continued eating it, and I know this from experience, that's when the digestive issues hit, the diarrhea, the constipation. It can go either way with these fake sugars. So the message for today, you can't have incongruent goals. You can't want to control your diabetes with diet and not take medication and eat these fake, fake, fake processed foods. It just will not work. As with anything, you want to be healthy, fit, and active and live a long, healthy life without taking medication. Well, then you got to get off your butt and you got to exercise. It's that simple. It's boring. It, it, it's crazy. I think our classes are fun. But you know, it's, it's repetitive. It's, it's a lot of the same stuff gets introduced in each class. We try to keep it entertaining and change it up and try to give you as many different looks to accomplish the same thing as we possibly can, because that's human nature. That's what you want. But if you have a goal of moving well, being well, feeling well, and living to your last day, Peggy calls it like you're going along flat, 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 flat. You know how most people decline as they get older? In this case, you're going along on a flat line and you're maybe even coming up a little bit, feeling better, better, better. Then one day you just go to sleep and that's how life ends. That's our goal. And I think most people would like it that way. Well, you have to make some sacrifices. You have to make sure you have congruent goals, not incongruent goals. That's the message for today. Align your goals and get feeling better. It's so simple. You have to move every day, exercise. You have to hydrate. You have to make sure your body's got the water it needs to survive. You have to breathe and breathe deeply. And you have to eat well. And you have to sleep well. Those are the five keys to making that long, fit, healthy, happy life last. That's today's message. Move well. Stay healthy. Be happy. Live every day with passion and purpose. We will talk to you tomorrow. Rock and roll.